What's going on guys, it's your boy Legitimate here, back with another video, and today, thank you guys for 4,748 subscribers. Before we start the video, I just want to let you guys know that next week, I will not be posting at all Monday or Friday when I usually post because I'm going to be on vacation to Disney World, so hopefully if everything goes as planned, I'm going to be doing a um, vlog series for that, which will probably be posted the following week after next week or the week after that whenever I get it edited or whatever but yeah not posting at all next week I'm just gonna take a little break and then go ahead and go back into things after the week after because that next video is gonna be the sneaker collection which I'm pretty excited about but today's video is something pretty awesome um, I've been thinking about this video idea for a pretty long time and it's gonna be the top 10 bands or the top 10 new van sneakers in 2021 top 10 bands under a hundred dollars I don't know what I've titled it yet but we're just going to jump right into this video. Make sure to smash that like button. Let's make sure to get this video to 18 likes. Hopefully we can do it, but we're just going to jump right into this video. So I'm going to go ahead and move over because I'm going to put some pictures on the screen. The first new Vans shoe in 2021 would be um, the Skate Vans. Now, Vans came up with a new model, which is called like the Skate. So it's Skate Old School, Skate Slip On, Skate Authentic, Skate Era, Skate High Pro. Like every single Vans model, they came up with a new skate model, which is pretty much just for skating. Their Vans meant to be for skating. Now they're actually discontinuing all the Pro models. So the Pro models was like the Vans, like more comfortable version or whatever. Um, that was supposed to be more durable, whatever, but I guess it failed um, sales wise. So they discontinued that. And they came out with this new van skate for all the um, classic vans. Um, it's mainly for skating, but obviously most of the shoes are for skating anyway. So you can buy these shoes specifically to skate with or you can just wear them casually. But all the um, shoes came in this specific colorway as the old schools are in right now. Um, and the colorway is super sick. It's like a cream kind of and it's a very nice colorway. Definitely to start off the whole skate um, vans new type of shoe. But I do like these. And I don't know if I'm going to pick up a pair or not, but we'll see. Next on my list would be one of the newer shoes as well, which would be the BMX Slip-On. Now, I'm guessing these are specifically for BMX, which is like riding bicycles. I don't know a lot about it, but I noticed this shoe came out and I noticed we have them in store. So I went ahead and put this on the list because it is a new model. Um, coming out of vans and i think it's really awesome it's obviously made for bmx but i'm guessing it's more comfortable than a regular slip-on looks like from this picture that the materials used are a lot different than the regular canvas on this slip-on it's obviously a slip-on van but it just is different because it's the bmx and looks like the outsole is different the uppers are different pretty much everything about this shoe is different than normally and if you're into bmx then i would definitely recommend this shoe just want to let you guys know that all the shoes on the list are not like the classics like old schools slip-ons eras skate highs authentics like i tried to use different versions of those shoes if they're in here everything on this list pretty much is like a different version of that or like a newer vans model but i tried to stay away from like all the older vans models if that makes sense coming in at number eight i have this shoe so we have ultra ranges now these are all my ultra ranges now i have two exos which is the newer ultra range model and then i have two rapid welds which is the older version of the ultra range and i i speak so highly about these shoes because i love them so much they're vans tennis shoe type um, sneaker and I think they really branched out on this shoe and they did a really good job um, the rapid weld and the XO is very comfortable very stylish and I really like them the price point on them is 90 bucks for the XOs and 80 bucks for the rapid welds and they're super comfortable and I definitely recommend them probably one of my favorite shoes on this entire list and you can obviously tell it's one of my favorites because I have four of them literally right here but I highly recommend the ultra ranges to be a tennis shoe to wear pretty much everyday use i've recommended these shoes to my friends and they've got them and they've really really liked them so i'm recommending them to you i really really speak highly about the ultra ranges because they're very nice and they're very underrated in the sneaker community and these are beyond beautiful and i definitely recommend them above most of the shoes on this list next would be the skate low so you guys know about the skate high um, it's pretty much Vans high top shoe. So they actually, um, as you can tell by the picture, they made a low top version of the Skate High, which I thought was pretty cool. Obviously, it's like pretty much the old school, but it's not, if that makes sense. Like the Skate High, there's a certain way it's made, 
and they just pretty much made the high top into a low top and put it onto the skate low and uh, this is the skate low pro in this picture I don't know how long the shoe's been around I know it's not new but it's something different and I just wanted to put it on the list because it's dope and if you like the style of the skate high and you really don't like high top shoes you can go with a skate low and get these these are super underrated um, not a lot of people talk about them but they're actually pretty nice and they come on the list for a reason number five we have the SIDS now the SID either the SID DX or the SID just regular SID um, I've been looking at these shoes for a minute now and this picture these shoes for the exact ones I'm looking for I think we sold out online I don't know why or how but the SID DX is super classic it obviously you can tell it's a pair of Vans because of the V but it's just not the normal old school logo which I thought was pretty cool um, I know this is a, a new shoe but I know it's been around for a while but this is just like a newer type van that's not something like classic and I think these are super sick. They go for like 90 bucks retail. For the DX model, I think they go for like 70 for the regular SID. But the SID model in general just looks super sick. And I would definitely recommend getting a pair. And I do definitely want a pair to get in the future. Coming in at number 5, I don't know if I've been keeping count. But we have these Lowland CCs. I recently just picked up and made a video on them. It's been doing very well on my channel, which I thank you guys for. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll give you 5 seconds to subscribe. If you smash the subscribe button, comment down below, Pinto Beans, thank you for that. But the Lowland CC Vans, guys, I absolutely love these shoes. Like, not just because of the colorway, but because of the shoe in general. It just looks like looks like a pair of Vans like you've never seen before. So it has like a Vans logo right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a Vans logo right there. And then the V um, right there the V right there and then Vans on the tongue. It's just different. That's why I like it so much because it's something that Vans has never really done before and they went out and made the Lowland CC and it's super fire, super lightweight and it's super comfortable in my opinion. And this is something I'm probably gonna get more pairs of because I like them so much and I can't wait to get more pairs and beat these up and make them mine. So the Lowland CC, highly recommend. The Ultra Range and the Lowland CC would be the ones I recommend the most out of any of these on the list, just because I had them myself and I've experienced wearing them and I know how awesome they are. But the rest of the shoes on the list are also beautiful and awesome as well. Coming in at number four, we have the Old School V. Now the Old School V is pretty much the old school. It's literally the old school with no laces and it's actually Velcroed. Now this is this is something cool. It's a different take on the old school. Um, if you think Velcro is too childlike or kitty or whatever, that's fine. This just makes the shoe easier to put on. I know some people don't like old schools as much because they don't like laces in their shoes or whatever. They just like prefer slip-ons. But this is the option you can pick because this has no laces, but you can still slip them on or even just Velcro them in place of the. Um, old school laces like I think this is a cool idea and I think it would be something I would be interested in purchasing and these shoes are just dope I like them a lot and I would definitely recommend them to anybody and yeah on to number three which is going to be the Vans Sport now we have some of these in my store and I think they're super dope like they look like the SIDS pretty much they look like those as well. I like the V. I like when Vans uses the V as the logo instead of the old school logo. I think that's pretty dope. Um, they do that on a few of their shoes, a few of them that have already been on the list. But yeah, it's just a, something a little different. It's not a big change up from like the old schools or whatever, but I think they're still dope. Like obviously the same midsole and laces and everything like that. But there's a bunch of different materials on these. You can see from the picture like the suede's I think there's some suede and canvas and leather, which is a cool touch. I think the stitching looks cool as well on uh, this picture. Yeah, there's multiple different colorways for the Vans Sport, and I definitely recommend them. They're just something different, nothing new to the Vans community, but i just say they were pretty fire in my opinion, and I would definitely recommend them. Coming in at number two, we have the Ave Pros. So these would be like the most expensive shoes on the list i think they retail for like 100 to 110. the ave pros are a i don't even know what they're for or what ave stands for but they look dope like these this specific colorway as well like the white laces pop off on these um i would say it's like an ultra range but more durable if that makes sense like 
I don't think it's as comfortable as an ultra range as you can tell by the midsole. Yeah, it's just a different take. I don't know if this is a new model, so to say. I've never really seen them in our store until recently we got a bunch in. But the 8 Pros are definitely a good way to go. They look similar, but I, I can tell like the tongue's a little puffier, the materials are a little different, the outsole's like icy. Uh, I can tell this shoe's different than any other one on the list, even though it all has the same logo and Vans print all over the shoe. Um, I could tell there's tiny differences in this shoe that make it different, and those tiny differences could make or break you wanting this shoe. And I think this shoe looks absolutely beautiful. This certain colorway too as well makes it pop off, and uh, I definitely recommend these highly on this list. Last on my list, I couldn't find anything else that I would like want to recommend to you guys. So I just chose an old school, but um, the difference between this old school and any other one, it's called the Warp Old School. So as you can tell, the old school logo is still like in the background, but instead there's a warp, there's like a V that goes like around like that. And it's called like the Warp Old School. We don't really, they don't really have a lot of them and they don't really come into our store a lot, but they are online. I think they're pretty cool. It's just a different concept, like putting a warp on the um, regular old school van. I think that's pretty dope. I'm, I think it's cool. You can still see the um, outline of the old school logo in the background. I think that's pretty dope. I think it's just a different take on the old school. A lot of these shoes on the list are similar, but they have their own ways that they're different. And uh, I like that Vans does that with a lot of their shoes. They're, they have very similar shoes, but they do little, little, make little differences in the shoes to make them a whole different shoe, which I think is awesome. But that was my top 10, my top 10 favorite new shoes, top 10 new shoes, top 10 shoes under $100 from Vans. Whatever the title is, I don't even know what's going to be yet, but I would definitely recommend a lot of those shoes on the list. All 10 of them are great options. And obviously you guys know Vans aren't the most comfortable shoe, so that's why I'd recommend going with like the A Pros, the Ultra Ranges, or the Lowlands. They're all pretty good options. Um, they do feel different than the regular Vans. And uh, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make, and I've been wanting to make it for a very long time, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have an amazing day. And as always, peace out. Peace out from Ultra Ranges.